let's move to the key part of the course where we can actually define the parallel currency configuration so it's very simple where the configuration is really really simple few steps you have to follow and you are ready to use it and every transaction posted in sap will automatically get converted the concept behind it which we have understood and we we have cautioned it multiple times you should not be changing it until unless you are very sure that okay no transactions are posted or you have help from sap to do the conversion of the historical data and make sure that there is no data inconsistency in the system so the transaction code for this is ob22 where you will go in ob22 give your company code select the company code and do the setting so if you have more than one company code you will have to do this setup for each and every company code this is what a little bit change in s for hana also where you will not uh, certain settings you can define at global level and certain settings you can define at company code level um, but in ecc you have to do the settings for each company code that gives one option also that you can have a little bit of different setting for company codes not recommended but sometimes there could be a business need that you are trying to achieve some different results for specific company code and you want to use um, differently because as i as we discussed that okay there are only two buckets and you have to deal with these two buckets and if you are not trying to work outside of sap and you want to achieve maximum results in sap from currency perspective you might have to be a uh, little different for a uh, second currency and third currency and if at company code level you can do setups separately so in my scenario it's pretty simple where you can see the company code is 3333 where it is for usa and the transaction currency is 00 which we don't need to define the local currency is 10 in this case company code currency and that is usd so we already have that defined and it always takes standard configuration for that where it will take the valuation as zero and exchange rate types uh, type m and things like that um, in case of second and third currency you can go and define that what exactly you want to do so what the currency type is as we discussed you can define what should be your currency type so normally it is suggested that okay lc2 which is the second local currency should be group currency should be if you are trying to use group currency then should be defined as group currency so in this case we have used the group currency as 30 and you can see the valuation here it's blank so it's blank means legal valuation it can be zero or blank is legal valuation if you want to define group valuation then you should be defining one here and if you are trying to choose profit center valuation you should be defining two here so that makes is 30 plus one and 30 plus two 31 and 32 so it's also called 31 and 32 so that is what you do here so you can define your currency type and the valuation type combination the third which is very important thing is exchange rate type so you define what should be my exchange rate type for valuation or currency conversion you may sometimes need and i have seen that people are using different currency types for doing the valuations if they are not trying to do the the average rate valuation so if you define it it's something different then you will achieve the results differently now the next one which is basis and it is also important and many times it plays a role into the functional currency definition also that what is your base currency do you want to do the conversion based on transactional currency or local currency so how does it makes a difference it makes a difference because 
if you have posted a transaction say you have posted a transaction in Singapore dollar and you are trying to convert into USD and then to Euro or you want to convert directly from SGD to Euro so there will be slight differences there which can be achieved differently and depends on what is the business need but you have an option here that okay you want to choose direct conversion from the transaction currency or you want to do the conversion from local currency when you are doing the conversion from local currency it gets first converted from transaction to local and then from local to the group currency if you want to achieve directly from the transaction currency then then you can define that number fourth option um, thing basically in this is translation type a date basically translation date so which date you want to do the 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 conversion so you want to do based on document date or you want to do based on posting date or translation date so document date so you could have a posting happening uh, where uh, the 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 document date for that is previous month while you are posting in the current month and your entry date or your date of posting the transaction is some other day so if you can choose that okay what should be my translation on so if you choose that based on document date it will take an exchange rate of previous month because your document date was of previous month in case of month and scenarios you could have a scenario where you have the the date of posting like okay when you want to do the based on the posting date or document date or transactional date so translation date so you you can choose how the conversion should happen from local currency or transaction currency into your group currency so once you do these four or five things your configuration is done for local currency second local currency and you can the transactions which are posted will automatically get converted based on your settings so when we said that okay what what how does it make a difference even if the currency code is same so we'll talk the the third local currency and then we'll go into those details also so say third local currency where hard it's defined in my scenario it's defined as hard currency so you can choose it should be hard currency or index currency or something or something else so if you want to choose this as a hard currency or index currency then you should have your um, country level setting and that country level setting will define that you can choose here or not if you have not defined it at country level you will not be able to choose as hard currency here it will give an hard error and you will have to go and do that setting first rest of the other things are same where you have to choose what the valuation type is what the valuation is and for hard currency it's it's legal valuation so you can define your exchange rate type and and the source currency and also the translation um, date type so what translation date type should be so you do all these settings if you see here my local currency and my my hard currency both currency codes are same but if your settings are a little different if you see the source currency here translation is taking based on the transaction currency and if you if you uh, come here and if you see here your base is uh, local currency so there could be a minor differences you can figure out basically when the postings are happening and the conversion is happening that first the transaction is getting converted into the local currency so you, even if it is posted usd here and then it gets converted here it, it can be it can be different but in this scenario it's usd to usd so it will not have that difference but it can be different even if the currency code is same it can be different let's look at this in sap so here where if you will drop down you will see different currency types available 
and if you want to choose which currency type should be there you can choose that currency type and that will become your second currency type in valuation um, you remember that in controlling area we have not defined the valuation profile so let me try to use group valuation here and see what happens so if you will try to do the group valuation and press enter it will say that okay the valuation type is not allowed because we have not done the valuation for profile assignment there so you cannot really do that or even if i want to do the two it will not allow me to do that if we want to do this then we have to go and define the valuation profile in controlling area then you come here and define the valuation type it will automatically do that conversion here now exchange rate types there are multiple exchange rate types could be available in the system and you can choose since this is a test environment there are there are a bunch of things but um, here you see that okay if there there is a balance sheet conversion you could use that or or there could be some different currency conversion types you can use basically source currency and index currency so um, one more thing we have seen that and when we did the country specific settings we have only defined the hard currency we have not defined the index currency and if i want to use the index currency here say i want to use 50 then what system says that 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 it will give you a warning message and say not allowed change in the live system as well as it will say that define a currency key for con for currency type 50 so current you have to go and do the setting in your currency key so you have to go to the country level and first define your index currency as a, a currency and assign the code for that and that code and this code should be matching based on that it will allow you to do the uh, the index currency setup here so you cannot really um, do this setup until unless country specific setup is there okay so this is the main configuration which is there so yeah, as i mentioned it's not huge you can do that but there are various things you will have to take care of that okay in the live system you cannot really make this change because you have already posted your transactions you must be having open items for gl ar ap you must be having asset postings and if you do this in the live system it will create inconsistencies uh, in your database and will not allow transactions to be posted um, other than that uh, in the course 01 we this did talk about some of the things where you this is mainly working at the gl level so if your gl master data is not defined properly or inconsistent it may cause some problems so some people keep on changing line item managed to non-line item, line item managed uh, or vice versa and open item managed to non-open item managed and vice versa so if you have any of those kind of things then you will have to make sure that okay you do the you do the consistency check there and and basically not not really activate parallel currencies without the help from sap uh, in the live system mm -hmm.